Hi there. I predict that you're soon going to be hearing in the news stories of Saskatoon's housing market being in the tank. It's not true, and I'm going to tell you why. That and more in this week's video. Hi, I'm Norm Fisher from Royal LePage Vidora and Team Fisher. This is the video recap of the Saskatoon Real Estate Week in Review for January 8th to 15th, 2022. So Saskatoon agents reported 50 homes sold this past week. That's up from 41 last week, down 28 when compared to sales over the same week last year. This will be the second week in a row that sales have fallen short on an annual basis. The reason why? We've just come off of a massively successful year, a record year, and not by just a little bit, by quite a substantial amount. The previous best for the Saskatoon real estate market was about 4,500 uh, homes sold. Last year we sold 5,300 homes and we're not likely to repeat that. So, you know, we, we could have another outstanding year and it's still going to look a little bit bad compared to 2021. The other thing that is going to hamper sales to some extent is um, the low level of inventory. This is the fifth consecutive year in which we've begun the year with less inventory than we had at the start of the previous year. So buyers um, even those that are very motivated to buy are going to have some trouble finding product that satisfies their need. 131 Saskatoon homes came on the market last week. That's up eight from the week before, up four from the same week a year ago. After 16 consecutive weeks of declines to the active listing inventory, we saw our first upward movement as listings grew from 833 the previous week to 855 at the end of this last week. That is still down 139 units from where we stood a year ago. 30-day sales declined again, this, this week falling to 205 units. Again, as more of the slow holiday weeks worked into that 30-day number, that number continued to fall. That had an effect of improving months of inventory for buyers, but again, watch that number, very likely to shift quite suddenly and quite significantly as the market begins to heat up again. But presently, we have a 4.1 month supply across the broader market, which puts us back in a balanced market territory for the first time in almost a year. There's a three month supply of single family homes and a 6.3 month supply of condominiums, which bumps them back into buyer's market territory. With just five sales over $500,000 this week and 11 under 200,000, both the average sale price and the median sale price for the week fell lower. But the six week average price is still up $15,000 on an annual basis. The four week median price up $31,500 year over year. After a week of no overbids whatsoever, we saw some action come back to that category as seven buyers offered to pay more than full list price for their house. On average, they paid a bonus of about $7,100 to their seller. 39 homes sold below list and those buyers got a discount averaging $11,000 each. If you'd like more on the Saskatoon real estate market, you know where to find it. Teamfisher.com forward slash blog. Thank you again for watching my videos and for reading the blog. I look forward to keeping you informed this year. Have a great week, everyone. Take care.